Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to show you how you can make a snowfall before the picture that you have chosen. So first of all we're going to File, User Preferences, which we press on. We're going to Add-ons and we type over here Planes. Switch that on over here and then say Save to User Settings. Next time you log in the setting will always be available. So switch it off then press the space bar where we can type in planes select that one and click on it sorry select that click on it then switch to the, in my case the default where your picture is in position and mine is called snowfall we're going to position that on the zero position so to do that we're going to press zero 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 Okay, I'm going to lay on the screen because so you see what I'm doing. Okay, and we're going to enlarge it by pressing S 1.5. Okay, that's depending how big your picture is and things like that. Okay, we're going to position the camera also at position zero, 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 in rotation also zero, 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 and we say for the Z direction two just in front of the picture the lamp you do the same zero zero two zero that's this is not necessary but it's just to be sure that it is correctly positioned now we're going to render it so we can see if the picture is looking okay so before rendering pay attention that your output file is at the correct directory and your format is selected in my case it's a jpeg file so let's render it and now you see a nice picture of a snow now we go back to 3d where we're going to add a few extra things first of all we're going to add mesh an ico sphere where we're going to position it sideways and we're going to scale it s0 point one and we're going to give that a nice material which is in my case white so we double click on it white I forgot something okay we'll make it up and we're going to let it illuminate a little bit so let's say 1.10 like that and we switch off underneath the shadow which we don't want okay I've forgotten that uh, I said 0.1 let's uh, divide it by 2 and we're going to rescale it 0.5 that's half of it it could be that it is too large so uh, we can to rescale it later on now what we need necessary is also a plane so we're going to add mesh plane pay attention that we're going to rotate it in x direction so rx90 like this and we're going to position it above the picture and now we're going to uh, rescale it first of all we're going to bring the back just behind the picture like this now there's one thing important go to edit mode first of all to do that and we're going to select the front edge by right clicking on it and we're going to bring it backwards that it is let's say the distance between your picture and your camera is divided in two okay if we've done that we press a to deselect and a to select the whole plane and we're going to subdivide it we're going to subdivide it in 200 different rectangles okay when we've done that i think we're approximately ready go back to object mode we're going to bring it a little more down that's just above the picture okay now we open up this window a little bit and we can see over here this button which we press on and we say new we're going to start with 1000 and later on we're going to upgrade it now the start of the animation will start at for the moment at 1 and the lifetime is uh, 50 and the end of the animation is 200 that should correspond with that over here so we're going to say 250 
okay now we're going to bring go down now you see that this opposite direction is the y direction so i want them to fall downwards and to do that we go over here where in z we bring zero because in my case it's y and we're going to bring them down so minus zero point let's say zero two because i want to let them to fall very slowly good if this uh, speed is too fast you can reduce that if it is too uh, slow then you can bring it up it's depending on how fast your snow you want them to fall okay now we're going uh, downwards uh, we say uh, let's say a half of that and i want them a little bit random at speed like this now important over here is that we are going to choose an object and the object will be the icosphere that's the snow good now we're going to let it run so you can see what's happening and you see little dots falling but they don't fall very long so i'll have to bring up here the lifetime of one dot let's say 150 and you see in a second that they last longer that's the first thing you see they last longer good you want to know if it is looking okay or not okay then somewhere over here you stop okay and we're going to have a quick look by pressing over here render and we see one picture with fall falling snow falling down you see there's not enough you see that the dots are really okay so this is good go back to 3d and we're going to make switch over here and go to the top where we have 1000 let's make 5000 of them and we're going to let it run again front play it on the animation and you will see a lot more dots falling snow in my case and we're going to stop them over here somewhere we're going to render it again have a quick look and you see there's more snow going down now there's another thing which may be important if you look at, at this direction the opposite direction and I let it fall again you see that the snow is falling directly to the bottom sometimes it's better if you let them fall a little bit to your camera uh, like this you see them falling a little bit forwards if this is not enough you can change and i'm going to show you in a second how you can do that i'm going to stop it and I'm going over here you see velocity i'm going to let it run again i'm going to exaggerate and let's say for instance in y direction meet i'm going to bring in one you see that is now falling against the camera it's too much of course let's say 100 in my case and you can speed it up also i'm going to show you how to do that in that direction we're going to press two and you see that they're falling much quicker now so that's one thing you, you can play on i'm going to leave that one to zero because mine in my case was okay so what we need to do is i think we're approximately ready go back to the front yeah like this and i want my animation to start i'm going to look where the snow is almost down now, they're coming out here you see that this is around 64 now so we're going to switch the start minus 64 i should look okay and now we're going to the render mode where we choose of course the correct format in my case rve jpeg and we're going to let it the animation render and i'll come back in a few minutes okay see you soon hi everyone the rendering is ready and now if you want to see the result you could have instead of going to your output directory where you can click on the av file or you could go to rendering where you can say rendered and play the rendered file I'm going to position it somewhere like you can see it okay now this is the result of the snowfall like we did a few seconds ago so if the result is what you like please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching